we are here about an hour outside of Berlin. As you can see from that sign, this pristine location is called Replos. And I think it's a fitting background to showcase this. This is the new BMW iX M60. And it is BMW M Division's new battery electric flagship. And it's backed by some pretty dazzling numbers. So um, if you come a little bit closer, uh, there are two electric motors, uh, front and rear, and uh, a 105 kilowatt hour battery pack, which sits under the passenger cell. And uh, the total uh, system output is 619 horsepower, 1100 newton meters, does 0 to 100 in 3.8 seconds, and 250 k's flat out. So it's BMW's fastest battery electric vehicle out of everything they've offered so far. Uh, so it's a rear bias setup. So the rear electric motor puts out 490 horsepower, 260 at the front. So it's uh, designed to be uh, sort of more of a driver's car, even though it is a big lump. It's two and a half tons. Uh, but we've actually been out, uh, my colleague Hisham and I have been out on a road loop and uh, it's quick. Uh, it is it's dynamite quick in a straight line. I mean, it's uh, neck snapping. Uh, but we were both left uh, wondering whether this the true Mness about this car, because yes, it's quick. But uh, if you follow me around, we can just uh, look through some of the design elements. Um, it's confronting. Uh, it's, it's certainly out there. Um, that is by design. Uh, BMW's designers said they wanted to differentiate the i offerings, uh, in other words, the electric offerings from the combustion uh, powered vehicles that they offer. And uh, I, I think there's no question that uh, it stands out. So whether you think it's beautiful or not, that's going to be, I think, a divisive subject. Some will like it, others won't. And uh, I think that's just fine. So. Either you like it or you lump it. Um, so it's 22 inch rims. And uh, uh, so given the mass of the whole package, the battery pack weighs 500 kilos. And uh, it's a big car, I think uh, just over five meters. Uh, so they, they have taken some efforts to reduce weight. Uh, it's not a medium uh, bodywork. And then also some carbon fiber used. Well. And also, BMW makes a big song and dance about sustainability. So, uh, it's, a lot of the aluminium used is recycled. Recycled, I think about 60%, and also some of the plastics. So they say it's um, actually cleaner from, uh, from let's say, from cradle to grave than uh, than a, con a conventional combustion equivalent. So uh, we can walk around to the back, perhaps, uh, just so you can see from the back that's high. So you have these uh, slimline LED tail lights. Reasonable boot capacity at the moment, it's stuff full of my luggage, um, but uh, it's reasonably practical. Uh, you could get a uh, good weekend's worth of kit in there. And the back seat, plenty of room. I'm not hugely tall at 1 meter 72, but I think even someone up to 2 meters or 190 plus have no problems feeling in here. And then if we come around to the front, so um, BMW has gone for a very minimalistic approach here. Uh, so it's there's really not many 
buttons, not a whole lot of elements inside. There's a few different drive modes, so you've got personal, uh, sport and uh, efficient, which focuses more on energy recuperation. And uh, there, are, there are some synthesized sound modes, which were uh, actually the, the handiwork of Hans Zimmer, who's an Academy Award winning uh, music composer. And um, we tried it earlier on, and I'm not really sold on it. It's, it sounds sort of like a sort of half a V8, half spaceship. So, but you can turn the sound modes off. And then also here you have a D or B. And uh, B is a high recuperation mode where when you lift off the throttle, it's virtually like, uh, like pressing the brake pedal. So, uh, because it goes into full recuperation mode. And in that mode, you can basically drive the car with one pedal. So, uh, but... Uh, I think D is is generally a, a more user-friendly uh, option when you're out on the highway. B is probably okay if you're on stop-start traffic. So that is my quick wrap-up of the iXM60. It's, I think it'll be a big seller in Europe, North America, maybe China, Middle East. But uh, yeah, we have to see how many buyers out there prefer this over an X5. Uh, M competition but uh, be that as it may I think it's an interesting and uh, certainly a cutting edge piece of technology and uh, yes it's been an entertaining drive so far thanks for watching and see you in the next video